Hey friends, welcome back to another video of animated video series from Education Lessons. In this video of Solar Angles, we will be learning about first angle of latitude, second inclination angle, third zenith angle, and then followed by solar azimuth angle, tilt angle slope, angle of incidence, and lastly we will see surface azimuth angle. Also, we have seen in the last video that the earth is tilted to some declination angle delta with respect to the sun. If you want to know more about the same, the link for the video is provided in the description. Now let us start with the angle of latitude phi. Let us consider a point on the earth's surface. Now projecting this point to the equatorial plane of the earth by drawing a parallel curve to the meridian. If you don't know about marrying, ask in the comments below. Then we will be joining the point of location to the center of the earth and also connecting the projected point of location on equatorial plane to the center of the earth. The vertical angle so formed by these lines is called as angle of latitude phi. So we can define angle of latitude as it is the angle between the line joining the point of the location to the center of the earth and its projection on an equatorial plane. Let us consider the sign convention and different absolute values of angle of latitude now. So when the point is north of equator, the angle phi is positive and when south, it is negative. You can see the same on the globe here. Angles are represented as phi degree north or phi degree south of the equator. Also, values of phi is 0 degree for the point on the equator, whereas values of phi are plus or minus 90 degrees for North Pole and the South Pole respectively. Now let us understand inclination angle alpha. Let us consider a horizontal plane as shown here. Marking directions now, that is North, South, West and East. Considering a sun's ray now and marking a point of incidence of the sun's ray on the horizontal plane as P. Now taking the projection of sun's ray on the horizontal plane and PQ will be the horizontal projection of sun's ray on the horizontal plane. Thus, angle so formed between the sun's ray and its projection on the horizontal plane is known as inclination angle alpha. We can clearly see that the value of alpha will be 0 degree at sunrise and the sunset. Moving to zenith angle now. Starting this explanation by considering normal to the horizontal plane. Now, angle formed between the sun's ray and this normal is known as zenith angle. We can define it as the angle between the sun's ray and the perpendicular or normal to the horizontal plane is known as the zenith angle and it is denoted as theta z. Also, from the geometry so formed here, we can clearly see that zenith angle is the complement of inclination angle. Mathematically, alpha plus theta z is equals to 90 degrees. Hence, at sunrise, zenith angle is plus 90 degrees, whereas minus 90 degrees at the sunset. Okay, now moving to solar azimuth angle. For this angle, I am highlighting the south direction here. Also, doing the same for the projection of the sun's ray on the horizontal plane. You can see red color for both these lines now. So now, if we measure the angle between these lines on the horizontal plane, then that is the solar azimuth angle. We can define it as the angle on the horizontal plane between the line due south and the projection of the sun's ray on the horizontal plane is known as solar azimuth angle and it is denoted by gamma s. Also note that it is considered as positive when it is measured from south towards the west. Now let us move to something more tricky. As it is not always possible to have horizontal plane everywhere here on earth's surface, we will have to define remaining angles which are related to inclined surface. So considering this as inclined surface on the horizontal plane we already have. But wait, this is an inclined surface and so it will definitely have some angle with the horizontal surface. 
so this angle is known as tilt angle or slope so we can simply define slope as an angle between the inclined surface and the horizontal plane it is denoted by beta okay now what if we introduce normal or we can say perpendicular to this inclined surface as this one also let us consider sun's ray which incidence on the surface thus angle so formed between these two rays is known as angle of incidence we can define it as an angle between sun's ray incident on the plane surface and the normal to the surface it is denoted by theta also we can say that for horizontal surface only tilt angle beta is equals to 0 and zenith angle theta z is equals to the angle of incidence theta we will compare this again at the end of this video as well moving to surface azimuth angle let us take the projection of normal to the surface on the horizontal plane so let pq be this projection on the horizontal surface now angle measured from south to this projection is known as surface azimuth angle and it is denoted by gamma let us frame its definition as it is an angle in the horizontal plane between the line due south and the horizontal projection of the normal to the inclined plane surface just like a solar azimuth angle it is considered positive when it measured from south towards the west now let us do something more interesting we will now represent all the angles that we already studied in this video starting this by taking horizontal projection of the sun's ray on the horizontal plane so we get this angle as angle of inclination alpha continuing by drawing normal to the horizontal plane now angle formed between sun's ray and this normal of the horizontal plane will be the zenith angle theta z lastly marking an angle due south towards the projection of the sun's ray on the horizontal plane and that is the solar azimuth angle gamma s and now we clearly compare that if there is no inclined surface tilt angle beta will be zero and zenith angle will be equals to the angle of incidence theta lastly if you have any doubts related to this video you can ask in the comment section below or you can post your doubts with attachments through our website contact us page whose link is provided in the description Thank you.